Hello friends and fellow stalkers, this is Gatling Giggs. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add a whole buttload of weapons to your Call of Misery mod if you decided to install it. Right now I'm currently proud to say that I'm running Call of Misery after it's updated on full graphical settings, full field of view settings, and um, everything's working beautifully. It's, it's, really, it's really like a brand new game. But the only thing it's missing is more guns and a little bit better animations on the guns and how they look. So you're going to want to download this first. After you download it, you're going to want to extract it with WinRAR or 7-Zip to your um, Call of Chernobyl uh, subcategory on your folder, in your file folder. You should know how to find it by now if you're following my videos. If not, just message me. I'll tell you. It's very simple. And then after you download it, you just drop it onto the Call of Chernobyl um, file. Then you're going to want to download the weapons fix. This is important here. Uh, by the way, if I know I do these videos because people are more visual learners and stuff like that. But this goes to show you how to do it um, and all the stuff with it and all the guns and, and all that stuff. So it, it teaches you everything you need to do as well if you're more of a reader. So you're going to want to download the patch now. The patch just fixes it up. And then after the patch, you're going to want to download the translation. And these two take like two seconds to download. It's literally just, we'll see, whoop, 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 like that. Okay, check. I don't want WinRAR, sorry. I have the free version, so therefore why would I need it? You want to take all this. You're going to want to extract it. And by the way, this is how you find the Call of Chernobyl game, because if you don't know, you can't install it under the stalker file or the original game. You just need the engine on the same drive in order for it to run uh, the Call of Chernobyl as a separate entity. So common, and this is where you're just going to show it. See, Call of Pipper Rats right there. I have it completely set, uh, completely separate. So then you're literally just going to click OK and replace the files. And the reason, the reason why, the reason why instead of just downloading the patch is you need to have the previous thing because there's some data in the previous thing that they forgot to add in. So what this does is you, the reason you click yes to all is it installs it and replaces all the things that they had to go back and tweak as opposed to just installing it and then there being more problems. So it's literally just like think of a pyramid. It's starting small and working its way up. Um, all right. Let's see, uh, then now you want this, this is most important unless you don't care about it, but uh, download this lastly, and then we're going to go in game, I'm going to try to go to Svidask and see what the weapons look and operate and sound like now after this, and uh, this, the reason, the reason I love this, this mod so much, the reason I love this weapons add-on mod so much is the only thing Call of Misery was missing is like, the gun, the, the guns just kind of looked, ugh. And, like, in the Arsenal overhaul, the guns look, yeah. So, like, hopefully this kind of gives, like, an Arsenal overhaul feel to the guns and the operation of the guns. And so, anyway, click OK. Re replace yes to all. All it's really, re and there we go, done. The only thing it replaced was all the script and the writing, so it really was easy. It was literally just, like, a copy and paste kind of scenario. So, let's go to the game now, see if I can uh, travel to one of the main retailers, like Yanov Station, and see what kind of guns are added to this, and see... Um, how they look and sound and operate in comparison to the uh, Call of Misery, uh, the guns you start out with. And hopefully by doing this, you actually start out with uh, better guns. So let's see. Faction. Uh, let's go with Freedom. Start. All right, man. I'm very excited for this. I really hope that this worked. Um, I'm pretty sure it worked. I've been following the same process for everything and usually the installation process is the same for just about every mod. The only difference for the Call of Chernobyl mod is that when you install it, you gotta install it under the same driver that the, the uh, vanilla game is installed, but as a separate file. It just needs that engine on the driver and it, it finds it and then it utilizes the engine. And then all the updates help tweak it so that the engine can run efficiently because it's an old and dated engine. And uh, you know, I'm running this on max settings right now and um with dynamic lighting and dynamic sound engine and like it's real it's really a totally different game i'm very excited to play this and honored to play this old school 2010 classic and bring new life to it and have it be an entirely new game it almost has this like fallout feel but what fallout should have been and people i'm gonna get hate mail for that and that's fine I love Fallout just, you know, just as much almost, but this game just has something different. It's got that, like, this game genuinely scares me sometimes, and, like, Fallout doesn't do that, because I can always, you know, it just, just, just this game is, like, its immersion is a little bit different than Fallout. Every detail of this game, especially with the modern community, really helps add a new light to it, and I'm just happy to be sharing this with you, because... You go on the internet and you really find some written stuff and you see some people trolling in forums and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, you know, there's really no video. There's not many videos on installation. So, wow. Immediately, look at the graphics on max settings and stuff like that. 
look at the guns the guns so it looks like it works now this is the final test is it in english and it is all in english so that is how you add the uh the new guns to the game and let's see what it looks like now let me go see how they sound and operate what am i listening to right now okay i can't see jack give me a second This song's sad. Alright, sorry guys. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> anyway, people, <laughs> that that was the experience. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching, and goodbye.